Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Kim Warner, and I am in Professor Gorbett's class. Um, we were presented videos to watch and given, you know, a few questions to answer. And so when I looked at the questions, I found that they were easy to answer because, number one, I've worked in the mental health field as a basic skill trainer and a psychosocial worker. Um, we help rehabilitate those that have been in psychosocial type of situations, um, if it's been uh, schizophrenia and that. So I've been around uh, many LMFTs and um, MFT interns. Uh, with that being said, uh, the skills that those counselors presented was very much on point to what I've seen in assessments or in just simple counseling uh, circumstances. Um, they were very attentive to their clients. They had the skill of listening, and listening is a skill. They also had the ability to reflect and go back and pull information from the conversation that the client had given to repeat the summary of information to let them know that they were listening, but also to let them know that they heard what they were saying. They addressed the issues that the client brought forth. They didn't have the... Um, mindset of digging in they allowed the client to present to them what the client was there for and that being said it makes the approach easier for the client to begin to trust the counselor so i i, I agreed with the stance that they had and uh, the summaries being repeated back because when you are able to repeat the summary of a circumstance or the challenge that the person is is experiencing, what happens is the person is able to hear what they said. Now they can retract or recant, but it gives them the ability to hear what they said to the counselor. When I went in to our Pearson, uh, our Pierce uh, book to identify different areas and to just look at um, the reading for this blog and what was presented to us. What I found is um, a summation of information. Counselors develop inquisitive mindsets. They become investigative, reflecting on uh, present work and future work. Even uh, in the uh, information uh, that the young woman gave concerning her boyfriend, she was concerned about uh, future projections, and the, the counselor brought that up. Um, I think that's important because you can work through a lot of information. Well, Freud also, um, you know, puts a stamp on this because what he says is that he believes and um, the others that have used his theories believe that every case as has its own place. So in the circumstances with the young woman uh, addressing her fear of her boyfriend taking his maybe non-compassionate uh, attitude into the marriage, she's addressing the situation saying that I don't want this to be a future problem. I want to know how to deal with this challenge right now. You know, even going into the young man that was um, giving his summation concerning his family and him not wanting to lose his culture, you find that the counselor listened and was able to summarize and give information back to let him know that he heard what he said. And in that, what you're able to do is help them to build on the next um, level of how they're going to work through the situation. And so I thank you for the opportunity um, of, of videoing and, and explaining our theory on um, the counseling skills, explaining the reflections and the feelings of the counselor um, and the ability to summarize because we're not um, in this field to give answers but to help people work through their um, feelings and emotions to find a happy medium there.